Hi, I'm Gary Kies from LOSI. Today we're going to install a turbo head conversion on your LOSI 350 engine to improve the power using our new 8-in-1 LOSI Allen driver tool. The handle stores all of the Allen bits and they can be pushed in and out. There's a mag magnet that holds it in place. So, using the 2.5 millimeter Allen driver, break each one of the four screws that hold the heat sink onto the engine. Don't remove any of them yet, just break them all loose. After they're once loose, then you can go about removing each one of them. When it gets to the point where you feel it's no longer threading, just go ahead and go on to the next one. Okay, with the four screws loose, take the head heat sink and set it off to the side. Very carefully kind of wiggle and remove the existing head. Take an X-Acto knife and make sure you remove all of the head shims from the old head. I would suggest you put them on the head and put it in a little plastic bag because at some point in time you may want to put it back in. Now that the heat sink is off and the head's been removed, we'll open up the bag with our conversion kit in it. Remove the parts. The kit comes with three head shims. There's two thick ones and one thin one. You can tell which ones are which by grasping it between your thumb and forefinger and kind of flexing it a little bit. And then grabbing, you'll find it the thinner one when you grab it and flex it. It's very springy. Obviously this is the thinner of the two. You're going to want to just, again, as the instructions tell you to do, you take the two thick shims, put it on the head, While holding the shims, install the head onto the motor, making sure that the holes line up for the head screws. Take your heat sink head that you removed, and the screws will be extending down so you can kind of line them up with the holes, and drop it on. You can rotate it a little bit, the screws will fall into the holes, and again, use your low C wrench. To thread the screws in. Don't you don't really want to tighten them yet? And when you do, we'll use a, a cross hatch pattern. So I just use my again use my thumb and forefinger to kind of spin this, so you can't put a lot of torque on it. Now that they're all snugged down, but they're not even close to tight yet. Go back to the first one that you started with. Okay, give it about a quarter turn. Go across the head, same thing, about a quarter turn. Then move to one of the last two left, following the same pattern, about a quarter turn. Go back to the first one, check it. You'll more than likely find it needs just a little bit. You don't want to really, really tighten them down too, too tight because you can actually distort the case. And as the engine runs and gets hot, it'll, it'll expand and those, the seal will only get better, not worse. But as you can see, it takes just a little bit more on the second pass. Okay, so now the head's installed. The insert's installed in there for the turbo plugs. So all that's left is to take one of your turbo plugs and for those of you that aren't familiar with the, the term turbo, I'll point this out for you. If you'll notice at the end of this plug, there's a chamfer cut on it. Most of the plugs, including the plug that you'll take out of your stock head, this is cut flat and it relies on a copper washer. The head is machined to match this taper, so much like a spark plug in a Ford engine, this will be your sealing area. This portion of the, the glow plug will be flush with the combustion chamber of the head. So, all you need to do now is install the glow plug into the motor and you're ready to go. You expect to get a little bit better uh, acceleration and uh, considerably more top end. It should be noticeable to you, especially when you run the higher nitro fuels. And fortunately, we give you this extra head shim, which Again, as noted in the instructions, if you run in a real damp or, or high humidity area, you may want to try adding that to uh, retain the top performance. 
and we give you an extra glow plug so when the time should come, you already got one sitting in your box ready to go.